uh, sorry this episode's taken so long to film. I actually filmed it and got it all edited and everything, and then YouTube decided it didn't like it, so I'm refilming it. And yeah, today we're talking about anime that I like. Um, whew, set that down. Uh, I like a little bit of everything when it comes to anime. Um, yeah, I don't have a specific genre that I like. I Like I said, I like it all. Um, so I'm just going to show you. It was going to be 10 titles, but it's just a little bit more than 10. So I'll give you a look at some of the titles I like, and that'll give you an idea of how diverse <laughs> my love of anime is. Na -na -na. Start with... Again, she can. This is a show about college anime nerds. Well, the Society of Modern Visual Culture, to be specific, anime, manga, video games, you name it. Um, it takes a special kind of fan to enjoy that show, but I love it. I love all three seasons of it. I really can't wait for season three to come out here so that I can own it. Um, I have all the manga, I have the novel, I have the fan book. I love it. It's fantastic. Well, in my opinion. Like I said, it takes a special kind of fan. Um, another series that I don't know a whole lot of people love, but I love it. Um, Kitty Grade. Um, I was really excited when I finally got this box. I've been wanting it for years and I got it at a swap meet. So I was like, um, this is a different kind of show. I mean, it's a, it's a sci-fi kind of dealy with, you know, these people that work for an organization and you have one person that has a power and then you have, like, the fighter and, I don't know, it's just, it's fun. I enjoy it. I like it. If you haven't seen it, go ahead, give it a, give it a try. <laughs> this is one of my most wonderful joys. Lucky Star. I love Lucky Star. Um, I love slice of life anime. Uh, makes me happy whenever I'm like, oh, pop in Lucky Star. Makes me happier. It's just about these four girls in their uh, high school years. And I love the main girl, Konota, a lot because she reminds me of myself. <laughs> I like to think that I would be friends with myself if I knew another me. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna show you the movie because I the other box sets in a case uh, box somewhere. But Cowboy Bebop, fantastic classic anime. I recommend this to a lot of people that are just starting, that are like really skept skeptical about anime. Uh, I think it's a great show though. Really likable characters. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic soundtrack. Thank you, Yoko Kano. Um, if you like jazz, this is your show. Um, but yeah, the movie also, that's what this is, is fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favorite animated films ever. Um, now, I don't actually own Fate Zero, so I'm going to show you the other series that ties in with it, but eventually I'll own Fate Zero. I love it a lot. Um, but, so, pretend that says Fate Zero, and that there are different people on the cover. <laughs> but I love Fate Zero. Um, the people that did Fate Zero are actually redoing Fate Stay Night, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, Fate Stay Night was okay, but they... It was originally a visual novel, and they tried taking from a bunch of the different arcs and putting them together, and it just it just didn't work. Um, I have it mostly just for the sake of having something in the Type Moon universe on DVD that doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Eventually, I will have Fate Zero. It'll be awesome. Anyway, here's that. Um, yes, yes, it's true. I love Dragon Ball Z. <sighs> uh, despite the fact that this is the original version, which is really, really, really long, and has lots of powering up, and had, you know, a 17-episode fight with Frieza, 
And the 14th episode gives you a review. I could have skipped the first 14 episodes of that fight. Anyway, I love Dragon Ball Z. I think it's fantastic. I love it. I hear Kai's great. I, I admit I haven't watched Kai yet, but I do have most of the original. I still need to get the last two seasons, but I oh, love Dragon Ball Z. It's a really good one to watch out. Watch when I'm working out. Rah! On a totally different scale, Fushi Yugi. Uh, now this particular show, I keep telling myself that I don't really like it, but then I stick it in the DVD player and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I really do <laughs> love this show. <laughs> it's mushy, it's dramatic, it's... I just like it. It's good. Um, it makes me cry a lot towards the end, but I enjoy it. It's a good series. If you like Yuotase and you haven't seen this, go ahead and give it a whirl. Yeah. For those of you who know me, this is no surprise. My love for Helsing has been strong and lived for a long time now. Um, oh, I should have pulled out Volume 3. Cool thing about this version of Volume 3 is that I'm in the special features for this long! <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, yeah, Helsing. I definitely prefer the OVA, which follows the manga, because the anime is not so awesome. But the, but it's it's what it was. You know, it's what made me love it in the first place. It's what made me go out and get the manga and look forward to these as they came out. I'm just sad that after Volume Four, Genion died, and we didn't get these pretty fun steel cases that are awesome anymore because now my collection doesn't match. Oh well. <laughs> if you love blood, guts, guns, and you know, vampires, that's a good one. Um, Kyo Karamao or God Save the King. Uh, the show is hilarious. Um, season one is just a hoot. Makes me laugh a lot. Season two gets a little bit more serious. But, um, the whole thing's a blast. Um, it's about this kid, Yuri, who gets flushed down a toilet into another world and he finds out he's the Demon King and who knew? <laughs> but it's just, it's just fun and hilarious and absolutely laugh out loud funny. Oh man, the preview itself made me bust a gut. Now, I will admit I have not seen every Gundam series, but what I have, I do love. I love Gundam Wing. I only, I sadly only have Endless Waltz. I still don't own the series. But, uh, Gundam Wing I love because, um, I love the politics. I love the characters. Well, okay, there's one character I don't love, but we won't talk about him. Anyway, um, I think it has great villains. I think it has great heroes with a lot of character development. Um, I like the girl. She's not so much a DID. She's kind of awesome. Go Relina. Um, this was the first Gundam series I ever watched all the way through. And you can see I had the nice shiny cover. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just a great show. It's like the Backstreet Boys of Gundam because it was the series where the animation started getting prettier as far as the, um, characters were concerned, so the pilots were like, oh, so attractive, Zex Marquis, oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I also love Gundam Seed. It was really good. Um, I really liked the art, I liked the characters, I thought there was a lot of character development in this. I have not seen Destiny yet, because I hear some of the characters kind of revert back to their not-so-awesome selves, so... We'll see. Um, one of my favorite female characters of all time is in this, Lacus Klein, a uh, pop star with a brain and her own branch of the military. Kind of awesome, right? Yeah. Um, occasionally, I do like myself a little high school romance. I just watched this last summer and it came out around Christmas here. Say I love you. It's just a little 13 episode joy. Uh, manga just started coming out here, which goes farther than the series, so I'm really excited to continue that story. It's super cute. Um, 
not a series, but a fantastic film that is Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. Now don't get me wrong, I like Vampire Hunter D, the original movie, but the animation was atrocious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bloodlust is beautiful. It's over a decade old now, I think. Yeah, this was made in 2001. It's now 2014. Do the math. This is still one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen and love to watch. The animation is gorgeous. The soundtrack is fantastic. It's just really good. Again, if you like vampires or just like classic vampire film, this is fantastic. Another slice of life show that I only really, uh, recently really got into, but fast, very quickly became one of my favorites, is k -On. Oh my goodness, I love this show. Well, okay, I just started the show, but I love the manga. Oh my gosh. Uh, especially since <laughs> it's kind of funny, because all of my roommates and I kind of fit the main girls, so that makes it a lot more enjoyable for me. But anyone who likes a good slice of life with cute girls, this is going to be a good one for you. One of the most emotional torrential shows I've ever watched. Um, X, which is based on X1999 by Clamp. Um, it's beautiful. It's tragic. It's occasionally funny. It's, it's just really good. It's got some really, really good deep characters. Um, this is not my favorite Clamp series, but this is probably my favorite one that they've done a full series for. Um, my favorite Clamp series is actually Tokyo Babylon, which the two main characters are in this, so that helps. But um, if you like dark, kind of about the end of the world, a little bit tragic, it's a good one. <gasps> Princess Jellyfish. Now this show, oh my goodness, this show reminded me of if I had been the neat, terrified little shy otaku that I had been before I started going to cons. Thank you conventions for making me less shy. I mean, I'm still shy, but not as shy as I would have been. This show is totally what I would have been, and the girl looks a lot like me, so I cosplay her, and it's fun. Um, there's this wonderful, really, really funny, that's a dude. By the way, you find out the end of the first episode, but it's just really funny, really cute. It's really short, though. It's only 11 episodes. Made me sad. Here's a good classic. Uh, Ronin Warriors, which actually in Japanese is Samurai Troopers. Um, this was made in the late 80s. I love this show way more than I probably should. I don't even know why. <laughs> it's great. Um, it's, like I said, late 80s. It's about a bunch of boys. It's like, it's like Sailor Moon for boys, but not as long. You get your five main characters, and then you have your big bad guys, and these guys are fighting to save the world. It's just, you know, they're color coordinated, and it's great. It's a, I definitely prefer it in Japanese, but it makes me laugh a lot in English. I mean, that's how I originally watched it, but it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good time. If you want to watch a classic anime, look up Samurai Troopers. And then, last but most certainly not least, um, I do love Sailor Moon. I'm showing you the movie set, because sadly I don't have any of it officially. I have a <coughs> leg. What? Anyway, <laughs> I, I love Sailor Moon. I couldn't even really tell you why. I just love its sparkly, girly goodness. Even though it's 200 episodes. And I'm ridiculously excited for the new one starting next week. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I waited a long time for more Sailor Moon. Um, but yeah. If you haven't watched Sailor Moon yet, you like girly shows, at least watch the new one. Um, they just announced that they're re-releasing the entire original series out on DVD and Blu-ray, so now I can have a legit version! Yay! <laughs>
Um, so yeah, that's just a look at some of the stuff I like. I like tons. I like everything. My shelves are full of anime and manga. Um, I am. I know this is only episode four, but I do want to start doing these eventually. Um, I am going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a volume of manga. Random volume. Um, if you will like, subscribe, and comment to this video if you are interested in winning a random volume of manga. I mean, it'll be a volume one. I won't give you like, you know, a volume seven in a series or something. <laughs> it'll be volume one. Um, and I will choose the winner out of everyone that comments, likes, su subscribes, and then I'll announce you in an episode or two. And then, um, You'll message me your info as, as, you know, if you want a girl manga or a boy manga. <laughs> or something in between. Because I have a little bit of everything. And I've got a stack of stuff that I'm trying to get rid of. So, yeah. That's kind of what I like. You know, feel free to comment what you guys like. Because I'm always looking for something new to watch. I'd love to hear what you enjoy um, and suggest. And the cat just jumped on the camera thing again. Hey, Chad. <sighs> This is Cheddar. Hey, Ched. Cheddar. Say hi. Hello. That's Cheddar. Um, anyway, thanks again so much for watching and listening to me ramble about anime. I hope that it didn't bore you guys too much. Um, I am getting ready to go on vacation. I'm going to try and film an episode, at least film some footage on my trip, and then combine it into an episode or something. But yeah, so I'm going to Indiana. I wish it was for a con. But actually, I'm going to see my sister's family, who I haven't seen in a year, and I haven't seen her baby yet, so that'll be fun. I'll film some footage, hopefully post an episode, and see you guys later. Thanks for being awesome.